everyone, this is Walker Paul Tedders. We're over here at J.C. Lewis Ford of Statesboro. We got uh, two 2022 F-250s. We're swinging in the new year with new inventory right here. We've got both, both these things right here. They're the 7.3 Godzilla motor. They have the 10-speed automatic transmission. This is the XL, the XLT right here. We're going to be breaking down the differences between the two of them. All right, guys, so we've got the two 2022 Ford Super Duties, obviously both comparing like to like with the 7.3 liter 10 speed automatic transmission. Now this truck here has a $43,000 window sticker, whereas my XLT in this beautiful 2022 stone gray color versus our Oxford white is a $55,000 window sticker. So 43 versus 55. First question you have is Jake, what kind of uh, differences does my $12,000 get me on an XLT truck. We're gonna break that down for you today. So coming around on our 2022 XL, that is the base model, your entry level truck. We do see our plastic front fascia, right here, your front grill, as well as black in color, matte black front hooks. Our side here, we've got steel wheels, very standard, very basic, but they get the job done and they're repairable. We do have tow mirrors right here. These do not feature blind spot or any of our safety technology that we love from Ford. We do, of course, have cruise control today. Um, same type of fuel system in both, same engine and same transmission. I'm gonna go ahead and start this up for you. They should sound the same because we've got the same power and uh, features of both as far as engine. that these have the same engine, the same transmission. You may be wondering, what is this $12,000 price difference? What is it getting me? The two biggest differences uh, that have caused the big price difference here is a crew cab versus an extended cab. So this is a suicide second door with less space in the rear. You also have your vinyl seating material, which is a very durable but more basic seating material. These seats do still flip up, giving you plenty of storage capability. And these are actually the same uh, format delete, which is actually standard in the XL truck. Flooring sprays out is actually super convenient. Another XL specific feature, you lose your second glove box. We still have storage space for it, but you lose the actual push button um, privacy storage of a second glove box there. We do also have, instead of an eight inch screen, a, I believe it's 4.2 inch screen that does not connect to your phone with the Apple CarPlay, the Android Auto. So another thing going into your differences there. The other big price point difference is that we don't have four wheel drive here. We are stuck with just the locking rear differential. Locking de rear differential will spin all four wheels at the same time, but it doesn't give true power to both axles like a four wheel drive truck. We do still have an integrated trailer brake, USBs, 12 volts. We've lost our heated seats here and our nice chrome appearance as well as our blind spot. No lane keeping, no adaptive cruise, anything like that. This truck has just two miles on it. Actually three now that we've pulled it around. So six miles between these trucks. And that just shows how hard we're working to get you the info first to get everything out to you guys as soon as we see these 22s coming in. So be sure to like and subscribe right now. Coming around to our gray, I just mentioned it, but you can see it visually here. We've got a crew cab versus an extended cab, so a full four doors, and this is a four-wheel drive truck featuring the 7.3 10-speed rather than a two-wheel drive truck. So that's going to add several thousand dollars of value and resale value when you go to actually trade in for your newest Super Duty. We see the chrome 
front badging here is opposed, as well as fog lights as opposed to our plastic, no fog lights uh, XL truck. You do see blind spot and chrome mirror caps on this truck as well. Let's come around to the interior and get to a cold start as well. in what you actually get for your money with this XLT versus XL package. We've got our gray cloth seating here as well as our eight inch screen giving you both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto access. We have regained our dual glove box here with our Super Duty lettering. We also have heated seats with this XLT premium package we're sitting in. And here is your four wheel drive, four high, four low, as well as that locking rear differential that we're familiar with from the XL truck. We do an optional add that we had for this truck, making it more capable and sit better is the powered gas and brake pedals. So with a push of this button, the pedal will actually go further or closer to me as is convenient for me. Um, so this is absolutely a fantastic truck. Be sure to tell us in the comments what you think is a better value for your money. Do you want to see four wheel drive and that big cabin feel of a four door truck? Or do you want the pure value while still gaining the capability of a Ford 73 Godzilla engine? Let us know, be sure to like and subscribe because we've got 2022 vehicles coming out with changes, uh, new information and great pricing guaranteed here at JC Lewis Ford States, bro. Come on down, holler at Jake Fry, the car guy, Walker Paul Tedders. We'll talk to you very soon.